Hello, crafty friends. My name's Alicia, but as always, you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome to my Crafty Advent 2023 recap and giveaway rules video. Now, while I am not coming to you live, I will be over in the chat box during the premiere to chat with you live. So if you're over there now, make sure to say hey and where you're watching from. And if you don't watch it right away during the premiere, if you come for the replay or later, make sure to let me know where you're watching from down in the comment section below and go ahead and put the hashtag, hashtag replay. If you are new to my channel or new to this series, from the 1st through the 24th of December, I shared a video every day, and most of them I was here with you live, where I opened up three crafty advent calendars, Spellbinders, Crafter's Companion, and Tailored Expressions. Each day, we would open the gifts and then spin a wheel to find out which one of them I had to use when I was making the daily tag. Now, if you were in the chat with us, you could have a chance to win the tag when I was done, which you'll get to see them all here in just a little bit. And if you're a subscriber of mine who lives here in the U.S. who is at least 18 years old, you could collect the secret words and be entered to win one of two of those advent calendars. I have an unopened Spellbinders and an unopened Crafter's Companion advent calendar that I will be giving away and sending out next month to two of you. Now, again, if you're new to the series, you still have time to go watch those videos and collect the secret words. In the description box below, I have a link to the kickoff video that kind of tells you about the secret words and what the series is all about. And I also have a link to the entire playlist with all of the videos. Now, some of those videos do have bonus words, so you might want to make sure to watch all the way through. Today, we're going to be taking a look at all of the gifts I got, and we're going to separate them by calendar. So you'll see what I got in Spellbinders, what I got in Crafter's Companion, what I got from Tailored Expressions. Then we will go over the tags one last time before I send them out to the lucky winners. And then the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm going to tell you how you can enter your secret words to get into those giveaways. So make sure you watch the entire video so you get all of the details. Now, if after watching the video, you do have some questions, feel free to leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at what I got from Spellbinders. Here is a look at all 24 gifts that I opened in December. Starting with day one, I got a little car that had a present that went on the top. Day two brought a floral stamp set and a sentiment to go with it. Day three was a border die with a scallop die to go along with it. For day five, they were word dies and they say from me to you. There's a word itself and a shadow. On day six, I got this pretty embossing folder here. Kind of reminds me of that die from day three. Day six brought this cute little birthday turtle with hat and balloon. Day seven, you know this was one of my favorites, brought this set of three layering stencils that when you put them together, they made kind of a fun mod or deco design. Love those. Again, I'm looking for a, a set that is six by six with this same idea where you can have the layers, so let me know. Day eight, I got a big and a little mushroom with accents. On day nine, we got some embellishments. These I thought went well with the watermelon color in the color palette we chose in the kickoff. Day 10 was a layered flower with a leaf and then another little branch with some details. Day 11, I think these are probably better pressed plates and they have sentiments. It says a gift for you, just a note, you did it, make a wish, and then a coordinating die to cut it out. I did use this die quite a few times throughout the series. Now, don't forget, if you want to see any of these gifts closer up, check out the day that they came from, and you do get to see them a little closer. Day 12 was a couple strawberries with leaves and flowers and stems. Lucky day 13 was a happy birthday stamp set with some coordinating sentiments to go with the happy birthday. 
Day 14 brought an ice cream waffle cone. It even had the little details for the waffle cone. Day 15 was another one of my favorites. It was this border embossing folder with dots. Day 16, another favorite. This was a hello die with shadow. Loved this. Day 17, I got these nesting dies here. Those were fun little shapes. Day 18, some more embellishments, a nice kind of purpley blue green there. Day 19, kind of a set like the birthday, but it's thank you with some coordinating sentiments. Day 20, we had a lot of fun with this and I actually made two tags. It was another layering stencil set and it's meant to be um, branches with berries, but we also came up with some other great ideas. So make sure to check out that live for sure. Day 21 was a little square floral frame with um, little flower toppers to go on it. Day 22 was some more sequins, a nice kind of light peachy color. Day 23, we got word dies with shadows that read thinking of you. And finally, for day 24, this cute little whale complete with little water splashes. How cute is that? While I clean up my desktop and put these away to bring out the next advent calendars goodies, let me know what your favorites were from the calendar, either over in the premiere chat or down in the comment section. All right, my desktop is full of Crafters Companion goodies. Let's see what we got from them. Day one was a flower with butterfly embossing folder. Day two was a snowflake stencil. Day three is a watering can full of flowers, a little stitched heart, a smaller flower, and then a couple coordinating dies for the smaller stamps. Don't forget, if you want to see these up close, check out the video for the day. I know that with the black background, some of these are hard to see, but I did give good close-ups in each of those daily videos. Day four, we got some charms. There was a sun, pumpkin, flower, and snowflake. Day five brought some silver glitter glue. And day six was a large floral cluster with a thank you sentiment stamp and a coordinating die for the flowers. Day seven was a very neat leaf embossing folder. Leaves are some of my favorite. Day eight was a bunny in an Easter egg, a small carrot and a small Easter egg. And these two stamps have coordinating dies. Day nine was this pretty filigree star. Day 10 was some white iridescent glitter. Day 11 was a happy word die and then stamps that say Halloween, Easter, Christmas, and birthday. This was very versatile. And day 12 was a snowman with a hat and a little snowflake. Day 13, which we kind of have a pattern going on here. Day 13 was a little animal print embossing folder. Day 14 were a couple butterflies and a best wishes sentiment stamp set or stamp, I guess. Day 15 was a little heart made of heart stencil. Day 16, some silver and gold ribbon. Day 17, a just for you sentiment and kind of a wreath and then this pretty corner die. Day 18 was all about birthday with a little banner, two balloons, a bow, and some squiggly lines which I discovered because of you guys thanks in the chat are probably the strings for the balloons. Day 19 was a little wheelbarrow filled with pumpkins there was another pumpkin stamp and then a little leafy branch here and the two smaller stamps had coordinating dies. Day 14 was a little like um, viney embossing folder. Sorry, that's not day 14. This was day 19, day 20, sorry, day 20 on this one. Day 21 was three gifts with coordinating dies. Day 22 was some gold glitter glue. 
Day 23 was a little birthday cupcake and candle with coordinating dies. And day 24 was this gorgeous floral border die. And you will see this used on the day 24 tag. Make sure to let me know what your favorites from the Crafters Companion Advent Calendar were. I would say for me, I love that filigree star. That was so pretty. And probably the leaf embossing folder. You know I love leaves, so that was not fun, fun to use and nice to get. I'm going to go ahead and clean off my desktop, and I'll be back so I can show you the Tailored Expressions goodies. All right, the Tailored Expressions gifts are ready for you to see. Here is a look at all of the gifts from the Tailored Expressions Advent Calendar. This is the only one that had 25 days to open, and it's also the only one that I did not think ahead and pre-order an extra one. But maybe next year I'll have one of these to give away as well. For day one, it was a layered stenciling set, and when you put them together, they made a little stack of gifts. This was super fun. Day two was a wax seal handle and stamper. This says joy and it has a little wreathy image around it. Day three is a wax seal spoon. And then finally on day four, we got some wax melts and that's when I finally used it. And I know that I said during the live that I'm not going to get into wax seals, but it was fun to do. Guys, I ended up asking Santa for some wax seal stuff for Christmas because I found some at Michael's. It was really cute. And you might be seeing some more wax seals here on my channel. Day five were a couple branch dies. And day six were some craft tags. Seven brought a stamp set that is perfect for tag making. Day eight was some champagne embossing powder. Love this. It was so pretty. Day nine brought me a free mini ink cube of my choice. And the code is, of course, hidden right below that. But next time I place an order, I get to redeem that. Day 10 was this cute little puppy dog. He's all worn out. And day 11, I got the matching die for the dog. Day 12 was a tear strip die. And you'll see this on one of the tags. Day 13 was a stamp set that went with the little tired doggy. Um, says, life is tough. I like you slightly more than naps because adulting is hard. I'm here for you, but so are you and more coffee. So those were good sentiments to go with our dog and just for others as well. Day 18 was the card maker's quick reference magnet has a little magnet on the back and it gives you some layering sizes and sizes for the cards themselves. Day 20 brought an oopsie daisy. You know that I made a lot of oopsies during my advent and this is an eraser. Look how that works. Isn't that fun? And that was not day 20. Sorry, I try to lay these out so they were in order. So six. this was 13, 14, 15 was that one. 16 was some glue. Who can't use some glue? Day 17 were some fun kind of snarky um, joke cards. And for day 18, we got a calendar to go with those tear off and the scratch off stickers that go um, over the punchline of the joke. Day 19 was an easel and that is to hold your decorated calendar. Day 20 was a little daisy stamp. And day 21 were some coordinating stamps to go along with it, probably to color it in, I'm going to guess. Day 22 was a mini ink cube and some cardstock in a new color. I don't know when they're going to release the new colors, but I'm super excited. Day 23 were some fun gems. They're very pretty colors and they have gold flecks in them. Day 25 was some floral washi and the background is kind of that same blue cheese color. And then finally, day 25, I got $5 off my next order of 25. Again, while I'm cleaning up, let me know some of your favorites from the Tailored Expressions Advent Calendar. For me, 
I loved the gift, the layering gift stamp set. The tear strip was fun to use. I'm definitely going to try that more. And I always like a coupon. So I'm going to clean up and then I'll be back to do the recap of all of the tags that I created. Getting all these tags to fit on my desktop was a little bit hard, but I'm ready to share the 25 tags I made during those 24 days of my Advent series. Let's take a look. Here they are. Now, you might notice one thing. They all, except this one right here, use the same color palette. And again, we chose card number 11 from Color Cubes on that kickoff video. I love how even though 24 out of the 25 tags use the same color palette, they all look completely different. On day one, I made this little card tag and we even put some clear acetate in the window. That was a suggestion from a viewer. Day two was a floral tag here. Day three, I made a fun, colorful background and then I just did some spotlight or selective coloring on the image. Day four was the present tag with the wax seal that I gave a shot. Day five was a shaker tag but not a shaker using the glitter glue from Crafters Companion along with some of the other items that I had gotten in the month. Day six was a cute little birthday turtle. Day seven I used the first flip up tag to create this with that leaf embossing folder. Day eight, I used the embossing powder from Tailored Expressions and the snowflake stencil from Crafters Companion to make that background. And then you might recognize these dies from the Spellbinders calendar. Day nine was a star tag. I cut some white ones in the background to put over the ink blending that I did. Day 10, I used the tired little doggy here. Day 11 was a birthday tag, and I did some um, watermark stamping in the background. And day 12, I again did some ink blending, some special ink blending, and then I used the strawberries for the focal point on that. Day 13, I tried out the rip strip. Um, underneath, if you pull that off, it says, but I'm here for you. And I added some of the embossing to just the left half here for a little texture. Day 14, I made a little double-decker ice cream. Day 15, a monochromatic card to someone special. Day 16 was the first shaker, and I used my favorite little stencil from Spellbinders and my favorite Hello die from them as well. Day 17, I used the layered flower and the nesting shapes that I got from Spellbinders to create kind of a fun shape tag. And day 18 was another shaker, this one for a birthday. Day 18, a little flip up tag with the pumpkin wheelbarrow. And I put another pumpkin inside. Day 20 was the twofer day, and I made a landscape and a vertical version. Day 21, the little floral square with some added dimension. Day 22, I went with a completely see-through shaker. This one had a few bumps in the road, but hey, we got it done, right? Day 23, I made a little birthday cut the cake tag and those candles in the back, they are actually, they were die cut in white. A lot of times I covered the back and then I did the ink blending. And last, but certainly not least, day 24, a thank you tag. And if you look closely there, I did some embossed lines on the green cardstock for a little added texture. While you can see all of these at once, let me know a couple of your favorites, either over in that premiere chat or down in the comment section. For me, I have to say, I definitely, this is one of my favorites. Love the stencil and that die. I like this one a lot too because it looks like the sun is shining behind the strawberries. And I really did like this technique doing that. So I'm definitely going to try that again. 
Now that I've shown you all my tags, let's talk about how you're going to get entered to win the two advent calendars. You might have noticed behind me here, I had my, my crafter's companion and my spellbinder's advent calendar set up like normal. But guess what, guys? These have not been opened. These are the brand new ones that will be going out to you. You can see here on the crafter's companion, it's still tied in the bow with a little tag. Are you excited to possibly win one of these? If you are, give me a thumbs up. Are you ready to find out how you're going to win those? Again, you do have to be a subscriber to my channel who is at least 18 years old and lives in the United States. There is one entry per person. Even if you have multiple usernames here on YouTube, you can only enter one per address. Make sure that you listen to all of these instructions before you go fill out the form. And we'll talk about that here in just a minute. You will have until Sunday, January 7th, 2024 at midnight to fill out the form and get it submitted. Now, I know that there's probably going to be hundreds of entries that I'm going to have to compile. So I probably will be back in the middle of January to announce the winners. Now, in the form, I will be collecting email addresses and your shipping address. But you do have to claim the prize if you're one of the lucky winners. After that first drawing, when I come back and do the first drawing, the winners will have one week to contact me to claim the prize. If they are not claimed in that week, I will do one more drawing. Let's get these out to people who want to get crafty with them, right? It is very important that you go ahead and stay subscribed. Make sure that notification bell is on because you don't want to miss the winner announcement, especially if it's you, right? What you're going to do to enter, first you'll want to get all of your secret words and your bonus words together in front of you. Make sure that you've got them all, hopefully just on one piece of paper to make it easier. And then you're going to fill out the form, which now I'm going to go to a little pre-recorded video and we're going to fill out that form together. Toward the top of the description box below is a link to this form. You will want to read all of the information in the top there before you get started. Then you're going to type in your YouTube username. This can be what shows up when you're chatting on a live video, like for me that would be Call Me Crafty Al, or it can be what shows up when you leave a comment, which for me is at Call Me Crafty Al. Next, I want you to type in your first name and then type in your email address. And this will need to be the email address that you claim the prize with. It will be used for verification of you being the winner. Then I want you to give me your full mailing address, including your first and last name. Again, you do have to claim the prize, so I'm not automatically going to ship it out. But again, this will just be used for verification. You'll tell me your first name, your email address, and the city that you are from. Next, you're going to let me know how you want your entries distributed, if you want them split between both calendars, or if you want them to go to only one. For instance, maybe you already own the Crafter's Companion one and you just want yours for Spellbinders. When you're ready to enter your secret words, click on Yes and then Next. Section 2 is where you're going to list each of the secret words that you collected during the series. This is going to be for the daily secret words, no bonus words just yet. You'll go in and type the word that you have for each day. Now if you don't have all of the days, that's fine. You just skip and add entries to the ones that you do have. Before you click next, you'll want to make sure you have all of those in there. Again, spelling isn't important as long as I know what word you thought the secret word was. At the bottom, you'll want to let me know if you did collect any bonus secret words. If you didn't, click no and then you're going to skip to section 4. If you clicked yes and next, you'll go to section 3 and here you're going to enter all of your bonus words in this single box. Please separate each word by a comma, and this will not be any bonus words given to channel members. You will enter those here in just a minute. 
Once you've entered all of your bonus secret words, click Next, and then it's going to want to know, are you a channel member? Yes or no. If you're not, go ahead and skip on to the next section, but if you are, you'll fill this page out. So click Yes, and then let me know what your membership level is. And I put the monthly commitment next to each one in case that's what you know. Then after you select your membership level, you are going to put your level bonus word down there at the bottom. Now if you're a paper trimmer, you got to see all three levels bonus words on the community tab, but you want to make sure that you only enter the one for paper trimmer level members. Then you can click next. This next page is the final section, number five. You'll read that little blurb there, and then if you are ready to submit, you'll click yes and submit. Make sure that you do get the next page where it tells you that your response has been recorded. Now it also says here, submit another response. Please do not. If you submit more than one response, they will be deleted. It is just one per person. I hope now you are all ready to get those entries submitted. If you have a question, you can leave it in the comment section below, or you can go ahead and email it to me at the email down in the description box, and it's also at the top of that form. Make sure that you're all ready to go and have all your questions answered before you submit the form. If you were one of the lucky winners of the tags I created, they have all been claimed, and I will be sending those out probably before the 10th of January, so keep an eye out in your mailbox. I'm super excited to come back and announce the winners, and I hope that you're one of the lucky ones. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.